Ooh, I want to know you. Mm-hmm. You look interesting. What's your story? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are talking about the Steam Deck and Square Enix titles that I am playing on it currently. Shout out to Square Enix for providing codes for these games. Thank you. So the first game we're going to talk about is Harvest Stella, an all new life simulation RPG. We have a protagonist that awakens during the height of Aquitus, a disaster that visits with the changing of each season and a threat to all life. We lead a life of a self-sufficiency with a vibrant house at as a base and cooperate with allies to overcome various threats. All as we draw ever closer to the truth behind the disasters and the very world's creation. So what I like about this game is that it is an RPG, so we have a battle play, but in this game compared to a lot of Square Enix titles that I've played recently, this one makes you have a life in the game sort of like a simulation as it said before and i want to say it's a comparison to like animal crossing because you have a house you have these craft items and you have this land so you're gonna have a land to um grow your crops and then you're gonna have livestock and such but in order to, I guess, develop your farm, you need to craft items, craft structures for your farm. But to do that, you need to collect the materials for that. And you need to gather the income so you can finance into these items that you're going to craft or have someone make for you, which costs us money. So everything that we do, there's a reason for it we're gathering resources when we're fighting monsters we're gathering the drops from them we're picking up items that we see throughout the game as we explore the world and that's like one of the things i really like in rpgs is when i'm gathering items for crafting because they're going to be applied to what i'm going to use in the game i honestly was not expecting much from the battle play because they were highlighting so much about the lifestyle in the game so when we were fighting the monsters the battle play is really simple but i was surprised by the jobs i thought we were just gonna have one job but no they're saying oh you can have multiple jobs and then you can go through the skill trees and you can advance in those jobs and i'm like oh oh this is um not as simple as i thought kudos to square enix yes the other part that i was surprised about harvestella is that the world is a lot bigger than we see in the previews and trailers there's magic involved and there's science involved and there's societies outside of our planet that are involved so it's like whoa what is going on like what genre are we in next we have star ocean the divine force so the story starts out with raymond lawrence on a routine transport mission his spaceship is attacked by the pan galactic federation and he crash lands on an underdeveloped planet he meets a princess who is fighting to protect her homeland from an inviting empire. And together they set off on an adventure that will shake the foundations of the entire universe. Now I've played the first Star Ocean title of that. That title was about the locals of the planet. Something was going on. And then the Pangalactic Federation got involved, which they, they usually don't. They don't usually interact with the locals and such. But this one, they're like, okay, something's happening with your planet. And I think there's someone from our side in the galaxy that interfered. And that's a no-no. So we will get involved. So Raymond is not part of the federation 
and he crash lands on the planet and he's getting involved with the locals which is normally a no-no and it's really interesting because this is different the first star ocean game that i played was 2d pixelated turn base and this one is the opposite it's 3d 360 not turn base it's real time battle play and uh, we are switching off characters so we can control them we're doing different styles and then we got this new technology from raymond where it attaches on you and you can do all these different skills and styles and it's really different from what i'm used to where there's one where you can kind of like charge it it's called a duma i believe d-u-m-a you charge it and it sort of makes you rush into your enemies and you can kind of like hit a bunch of enemies at the same time which i think is useful when you're being swarmed by enemies and such and then you have a another skill where you blindside them and it's cool because you're about to charge but then you change your trajectory blindside them and it stuns your enemy and like ooh, i kind of like this and we have three party members that we're playing there's raymond the princess and her knight aid whatever he is i forget his name i feel so bad i feel bad because I like to play him. He has like these chakras and I like how they have ranged attacks because yo, know, some of these enemies, they just like come at you and I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's keep our distance and I will hit you from this distance. Thank you very much. I'm excited for this game because like a lot of Square Enix titles, there's a lot of world building and when there's world building you encounter different characters and you get to know their stories the culture and such so i am anticipating that because there's a couple characters i saw in the trailers i'm like ooh, i want to know you mm -hmm, you look interesting what's your story and the last title we're going to talk about is triangle strategy this is a rpg simulation strategy game i am not the best at these type of games because i take so long finishing them playing them and such but this story is really interesting we have three mighty powers uh, who have long waged war on the great continent of norzelia and the land bears a long and scarred history that includes the South Tyrone War, a war that erupted over control of salt and iron resources. A balance of power has been achieved between the holy state of Hyzante, and which controls the salt, and the Grand Duchy of Aestrals. Oh, I hope I'm saying this right. A land of ironclad and frost and snow and the forested kingdom of Glen Book, which lies nestled between the other two powers. However, a certain incident shakes the balance between these three powers, which then begins a crumble away. Now that's a synopsis of the game. And when you're playing it, you're actually getting introduced to these three powers. You're kind of getting to know the characters from those places, getting a, you're kind of getting an understanding how the culture of all these places are and how people interact. It really reminds me of Game of Thrones, The Witcher and such. So if you like that, then you'll definitely like Triangle Strategy, especially the story. And Compared to other strategy games, this one has a story. They have voice acting throughout the game. So you can put it on auto and you can just eat your popcorn, your chips, your snacks, whatever, and just listen to the story, hear the interactions. And for something that's 2D 
and pixeled. You, they're pretty animated. I'm, I'm really impressed by that. And there's going to be like sections where you're talking to the NPCs and you have to make choices, which will lead to how the story is going to play out and such. And then there's like a part where when you're talking to the NPCs, you're collecting resources, materials that will help with crafting your equipment or health items and such. And what I like about this game is when you're doing the battle play, you can change the view of the map of the platform wherever the battle play is happening. And you can actually do like a bird view and see everything. It really feels like chess. Normally, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, because it's like a grid platform. Yeah, it's supposed to play like chess. But the other like strategy games that I played before, they didn't feel like chess to me. They didn't. It just felt like I had to position myself and then fight and <laughs> try to survive. And it's because it's a, it was also like a turn base. It was like, I don't know, there's like a lot of trying to evade but also a hit and I don't know how to explain this but with chess you knew what each piece could do like what their limitations were so there's like a reason why you would position them someplace on the board that's how triangle strategy feels because there are some characters that have like really strong attacks but they have weak defenses so you kind of like want to position them a certain area or like a certain distance so they don't die as quick and i got into the habit of positioning my healer close to those people who have really bad defense and then normally when my characters are improving in their skills in their levels i like to concentrate on the attacks the characters that have bad defense i concentrated on their health bar and defense i don't normally do that but this one i was like no you're already powerful you you need work on this because you keep dying on me and i can't have you dying <laughs> And yeah, these are the Square Enix titles that I'm currently playing on the Steam Deck. We got Harvest Stella, Star Ocean, Divine Force, and Triangle Strategy. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to share what else you're playing on the Steam Deck, if you're also playing some Square Enix titles, let us know in the comments below. And if you also want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. On Saturdays, I stream whatever game that I fancy. If you want to hang out there, come on by. And if you like anime or manga, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about that kind of stuff and other things we're interested in. Other than that, my name is Lehula and this is the Superfina channel talking about Square Enix titles that we're currently playing on the Steam Deck. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!